What's up everybody? Figured now's a good time to show you all how these machines work. You know, because in my other videos the machines are always running, it's real loud, maybe not so clear. So if you ever wondered how to run a golf course air fire, more specifically a Toro 650 or 648, I believe. Toro Pro Core 648. Okay. So that's the, these specific machines, and from what I hear, these are the best machines on the market for golf course airification. All right. So real simple. Um, here's where your key would be. You know, so you start it up. Sometimes you may need to choke it, and here's your choke right here to get it started this is your idle so once started start it in low idle and then you know turn it up obviously when you're ready to run it turn up that. Right. so then your machine's running right so this is your depth this is how deep you want your tines to go the depth control that will you know, control how deep into the ground you want your tines to go. This is your spacing on your tines. So you have three to one and a half, and that's inches, right? So all that is, is how far apart spaced your tines are going to be. So do you want an inch and a half square like this, or do you want a three inch square? We are air on an inch and a half spacing. What that means is about an inch and a half by an inch and a half. But always make sure when you're transporting and not airifying, you always want it to be in T in transport, which is right here. And this here, whenever you're moving it, you always want it in transport, but that here is the spacing, you know. So it's all real simple. It's a hydrostatic system. Um, now I have some other footage here to actually show you when you're airifying you know how to keep straight lines and basically it's the flags your flags can get out of whack so you always always have your wheel your wheel is always stationary so you can always use that for a straight line as well static so that's to go forward that's to go back and you always want to airify backwards so it's, it's always it's like driving in reverse whichever way you go here's your fuel tank that's where your fuel goes regular gasoline there's your hydraulic fluid your hydraulic fluid goes in there you know that's not something that you have to check every time but it's probably not a bad idea you know your fuel lines some of these have shut off valves you don't need to worry about any of that just for the basic operation it's start transport when you're ready to airify depending on what spacing you want put it there right here you have your emergency brake so that's disengaged right there obviously to unlock and then lock you know so it won't roll away on you but these things are really simple um one more thing's very important is this is your button to drop your tines so when you're ready to start airifying and you've got your, you're going backwards, you press down and that'll drop your tines down to, to start airifying. Awesome. When you're ready to lift your tines back up, all you need to do is either push up or you can hit your switch, you know, and then like I show you here in some of these videos, um, you're gonna do your three point turn and all that. So that's it. That's that's how you operate a golf course air fire, more specifically the Toro Procore 648.